Hi, Tracy. Hi, Heather. I'm really upset about something that happened to my mom's best friend, Sandy. I know Sandy, too. What happened? You remember the assembly we had last week that told us what we should do about cyberbullying? Yes. I never had that problem, but it sounds scary. Well, we can report cyberbullying to our guidance counselor and they will be able to contact the message board, such as Topix, and have the bully banned from their site. Yes, at least our counselors can help us right away if we get cyberbullied, cause they can get the sites to put a stop to it. But, adults don't have anyone like our school counselors to help them if they get cyberbullied. That's what happened to Sandy. Really? Who bullied her? Well, no one is absolutely sure, but it seems to be someone who likes to say nasty things about people. Maybe it makes them feel powerful, or something. That's usually someone who isn't very smart or powerful, I think. I agree with you. So what happened? The cyberbully put very disgusting messages about Sandy at the Topics message forum. They accused her of dealing drugs and being in nasty movies. That's horrible. What did she do then? Well, one of her good friends saw the first nasty message and reported it to Topics. They removed the nasty message the next day. But, it didn't stop there. Oh, then what? After the first nasty messages were removed, the cyberbully came back using a different made-up name and posted another message in which they complained about Topics removing their other message and then they wrote an even nastier message about Sandy. That's really disturbing. Yes. This time, my mom saw the new nasty message and looked up legal info about libel, which means publishing untrue stuff about someone in order to cause them harm, such as ruin their reputation or make their business lose money. She found out that people who publish libelous statements can be sued. Wow. Is Sandy going to sue the nasty liars who posted the messages? I don't know. But... My mom phoned Sandy after she saw the nasty messages and that's when mom found out that this had happened a few days earlier, also. So then what happened? Well, after my mom talked to Sandy, she reported the nasty messages to Topix, and the messages were removed the next day. Well, that's good. Do you think this will be the end of it? Possibly. I think Topix can totally ban the nasty message poster so they can't get back in the site. I hope that's what they have done. Me too. There's one problem that remains, and that is that the Google search engine still has remains of the nasty messages in their index, even though the messages are actually gone from the Topics message forum. That's a key. Yes it is. But, the Google index should update soon and the old removed stuff should not show up anymore. In the meantime, my mom thinks the nasty people should be sued if their nasty lies hurt Sandy's business. I think so, too. Me too. But my mom said that if the nasty posters are totally banned from Topics, that should solve the problem.